rock stars, roadies, or groupies were harmed in the making of this broadcast. Giving it to you straight and no chaser. This is On the Rocks with Jamie Wilson. Hey guys, welcome to On the Rocks. I'm Jamie Wilson, and tonight's going to be a very exciting night because, man, we've got my Pinoy Rock heroes on the show tonight. Um, it's been a crazy week. I hope you guys have been staying safe and trying to stay sane amongst all this craziness. But the one thing that was beautiful about this uh, this week, since our last show, is the emergence of all these community pantries uh, coming up. I volunteered for some of them, and really, it's amazing when you see the uh, the heart of the volunteer when people are out there helping their own community, even if they're not, you know, members of the community, dumarating pa rin sila, and they help, and that I think is a fantastic movement. And as much as possible, I hope, I really do hope, and I'm trying to help out as much as I can, so that it continues. Kasi magandang 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 initiative po yan for our community pantries. And um, yeah, it's been a crazy week. We've had a lot of weirdness happening in terms of, um, you know, announcements and uh, our public officials uh, trying to get a handle on the situation. But then, hey, it's, it's no different than any other week that's been happening since the pandemic started. What matters is what you are going through and you staying safe and strong and sane. And if you can, siyempre, stay home. Kaya nakakamiss po lumabas. Alam namin, alam natin lahat yan, nakakamiss lumabas, wala pang tugtog, wala pang mga gigs, wala pang mga shows. Pero at least I'm thankful that I get to talk to some of my heroes. And tonight, my heroes are on the show. But before we get to that, ladies and gentlemen, we've got some announcements from Offshore Music. All right, Everything, Everything by Suspiria Pink is available everywhere. So guys, check out this song. It's amazing. And of course, Jairo Alba's classical album, Mula Sa Iyo, just hit number one on the iTunes Top 200 Philippines Classical Chart. So please check that out. And of course, this Friday, the band Sulo will be releasing a new single called Sandugo off their soon-to-be-released album called Anak ng Bayan. That's uh, all offshore artists, and they're releasing new music. You get new music almost every week, guys. So, you know, please continue to support original Filipino music. We'd like to thank also, of course, our uh, lovely partners, Misty Mountain Cafe and Buenos Dias Panaderia. It's a perfect combination. The Misty Mountain Cafe has some really good premium coffee blends, particularly the Cordillera Gold is my favorite. It really kickstarts my heart first thing in the morning, and it keeps me going all day, and it tastes really good. And of course, Buenos Dias, Panadiria, your Milo buns are still my constant source of happiness. It's a taste of childhood in my mouth. It just brings me back to my happy place. And when I have these two things together, I am a happy camper. And of course, our friends from Liquor.ph have an announcement. Uh, giving you a rum for your money with Liquor.ph. This summer, Liquor.ph is the spot for all things rum. They're giving you up to 50% off for rums from all around the world like this beautiful bottle they sent me tonight. Can you see it? Yeah, a Clemente Select Barrel all the way from Martinique. It is a Caribbean, a French Caribbean rum beautiful and it tastes really good so before you have to ask why is all the rum gone go get yourself a single bottle or a bundle from liquor.ph this great deal is only good until the end of april so you've got two more days so make sure you get yours now and don't forget delivery is free in metro manila so tonight we've got an exciting show um i've i've always had the, the dream of um actually sitting down with these gentlemen and just hearing their stories as they come pouring out. Uh, Eric Caruncho calls them the quintessential bar band and the hardest working band in Pinoy rock and roll, hands down. These guys are my personal heroes whom I met and jammed with many, many years ago. And I was completely unaware of their status in the Pinoy rock pantheon. But I've always been honored and thankful to have shared the stage with them for many a jam. It was only much later on that I eventually learned of their incredible influence on our music. And they have endured for more than 40 years. Ladies and gentlemen, here, here to urge us to not go gently, 
into that good night to rage against the dying of the light, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome the jerks. Hello, Chikoy. Hello, Hi. Benji. Hello, Hi, Jamie. Hi. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> good evening, Batayo. Good evening, ano? Good evening. Oh, good evening, <laughs> live tayo. Good evening, po. <laughs> Chikoy, <laughs> Benji, <laughs> Paolo. Yeah. Thank you Hi, so Benji. much for coming on. And uh, oh, yeah. I, I just, Thank you. I just. I just have to ask you guys, so how are you guys doing during this pandemic? It's been one year. How are we doing? Paolo, let's start with you. How are you? You look like you're in Malate or Red Light District somewhere. <laughs> are you sure you're at home, Paolo? <laughs> yeah, this is my, you know, my uh, room because uh, my, my, uh, my girlfriend is streaming, so she set up the room for uh, streaming, so I, I use it. I use the lights now for for 80s feel because yeah, jerks yeah. <laughs> 80s. <laughs> 80s. How, hey, how, how are you lang naman na 80s yung jerks ah. Hindi <laughs> ano. Gusto ko lang ng 80s feel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's not it's argue okay. now. <laughs> it's always it's always a fun feel for the 80s. Paolo, yeah. how have you been yeah. doing during this pandemic? Are you are you coping? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm, I know, I'm just uh, trying to be productive. Naman. Every day, naman, uh, being alive and healthy is a gift. Eh. So, it's nice to uh, be in touch then every day, seeing people doing well. And I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm uh, trying to be productive by practicing also the bass. <laughs> because sometimes Ooh. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to react. Because when I started starting shows, I said, Paul Manuel, drummer. No. Because si Benji is there. So I said, I'm going to change it. I can change it because Paul Manuel is a drummer. My heading. Ko. So anyway, I don't have Thank you. Because uh, I used to play <laughs> drums with them. Then I yeah. switch to the bass sometimes. So uh, it's this is a good time also to practice. I am just wishing that the gigs will return soon. <laughs> Yeah, soon, soon, hopefully sooner than later. I think with the vaccines coming out and slowly people are getting restless. Pag, uh, pag uh, lumabas na la, yung, yung majority of the vaccines, sigurado akong babalik yan. And I can't yeah. wait. I can't wait for the live scene to come back. Ikaw naman, Benji. Kamusta? Ah, uh, yes naman. Ito. Uh, hindi ako... Uh, Siguro, lumalabas lang ako. Bilang na bilang lang siguro. Alas, alas, hindi ako lumalabas ang bahay. Pero ano lang, ito, nag-aalaga ng aso. <laughs> 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 Tapos medyo konting practice-practice din pag may ano, pag uh, practice sa drums. Tapos sa uh, recording. Uh, Inihimas yung, yung snare niya. Yung o, oh, imas-imas yung snare. Punas-punas. <laughs> 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 wala eh wala halos uh, walang ano eh may, may misa nalulungkot nalulungkot din oh kaya lang talagang kailangan kailangan labanan eh oh, kasi talaga walang yeah. magagawa eh. syempre dasal-dasal yeah. yan importante dasal talaga Ay, yes talaga. agreed agreed mm. alright what about you Chico how have you been man well Ito, ganun pa rin. Uh, just like everyone else. Na, uh, we're under lockdown and we're trying to deal with this virus. Na, no? We try to uh, umbaga, eh, uh, uh, make a step ahead of this ano, virus kasi napaka-vulnerable ng, ano, natin, eh, ng condition natin. So, yung mga measures natin, kailangan ano, eh, ma- umbaga, pagtsatsagaan natin sundi yung protocols and all that. Ako, hindi ako halos lumalabas eh. Pero, kasi ako, nagtitreatment ako eh. Kasi, as, as, ev- uh, I don't know if everybody knows na, ano, I, I was diagnosed with cancer and all that. Kaya, ingat na ingat ako. Kaya, dapat, pero, dapat. oo, tapos yung, ano, yung, yung treatment ko, mabuti na lang, nandito kami, malapit kami dun sa, ano, sa clinic na, pinag uh, ano pinagkukonsultahan ko so um, yun lang doon lang ako nakakalabas and uh, uh, nag-uumpisa na ako ma-appreciate yun yung mga lakad na ganoon 
Kasi, kumbaga, nakaka-ano eh, nakaka-recharge. Yung ganun klase. Yes, it's nice to go mm-hmm. out to other people. Kahit na, syempre, yung mga protocols natin, di ba? Naka-mask, yeah. uh, face shield, and all that. Konting tiis lang naman eh. Kasi, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you wanna be able to go out, see other people, ma- malaking bagay yan para sa sanity natin eh. Kasi, kung nasa loob lang tayo all the time, I think I would go crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yun yung, ano eh, kasi isolation can be, ano, very, uh, Kumbaga, lethal, ikaw. Alright, so Ch- Ch- Chikoy, last year, there was a big splash yeah. with the Rage campaign. I want to start off talking yeah. about that. Uh, yeah. With, uh, uh, there was a big splash on Facebook. A lot of people came together to protest. And that's the beauty, I think, of this yeah. song that was written so many years ago that is still relevant to this day. Actually, your entire album. Uh, it's still relevant to this day. Yung, yung mga, as he says, yung lahat yeah, yeah. relevant pa rin eh. And, uh, but I, I think, can you can you walk us through how did this rage campaign happen when people started calling you? Actually, nag-umpisa to sa isang idea ng mga bata actually na mga musicians. Uh, ang, ang pangalan nito si, si, si Paul Torrente. Isa siyang bahista uh, ang banda niya ay flag pool. Tapos, um, madalas namin siyang makasabay. Madalas, madalas namin siyang makasabay sa mga, mga parang impromptu ng mga gigs. At uh, mahusay yung banda niya. Anyway, teki-teki siya. So, uh, siya yung nagsuggest ng ganito. And then, another guy, his name is Mark Estandarte. He plays bass for, uh, both of them were bass players. He plays bass for Pasada. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a progressive uh, uh, ethnic uh, rock, uh, something like that, uh, na banda. So, uh, silang dalawa ang nag ng idea na yun. And then, we help them out to, ano, yung kumbaga, i- i- i-assemble yung mga tao to participate. At, uh, yun, uh, kasama si Cowboy, si Cookie, Yung ganong klase, ang daming, pati si Bingbing, Austria. Oh, <laughs> si Tracy, si Miguel. Oh. Oh, si Miguel, si Tracy, yan, si, si Benji, si Paolo. Yan. So, yun yung, ano, it was very interesting kasi hindi kami nagkita-kita oh. the whole time na ganong klase. Parang ina-assemble lang yung mga, ano, yung, mga, yung mga participation ng mga tao. So, yun yung, ano, yun yung, that's the interesting part for me, eh, kasi I'm so used to ano, eh, kumbaga, yung interaction ng mga musician. Ano, I'm from the old school. So, <laughs> yung, yung parang, in order to uh, come up with a song like that, you have to see each other first. Yung ganun, parang, ano, diba, and jam in one place and then get it done there. Yung ganun klase. Eh. Mm-hmm. So, napaka ano nito, eh, napaka groundbreaking in my part. At saka si ang credit doon kay Paul Torrente at saka kaila Marquez Estandarte. Yung ganun. Hindi ko, mind-boggling nga sa akin yun. Eh. Hindi ko na ma-ano yun. Eh. Hindi ko na ma-process yung ginagawa nila. Yung ganun klase. So I just waited for, ano, I just waited for the material to be finished. At saka isa pang, ano, yung director namin, si, si Alco. Oh, <laughs> Carrero. Uh, shout shout oh, out to Alco, uh, Si Alco, yun. Amaze mo yun. <laughs> Yeah, yun yung ano doon, yun yung behind the scene nung uh, nung rage. It was uh, yung purpose noon is to ano to uh, to uh, get the message out sa mga tao doon sa nangyayari kasi there's so much ano, there's so much uh, bad things happening all around us. Yung ganung klase, we are in the middle of a pandemic and then um the the, the government is uh kumbaga doing something else instead of uh, ano, giving uh, giving out measures to combat this and uh, protect the people. And yet, they're into something else. Kumbaga, yun yung frustration sa mga tao. So, uh, yung purpose namin is to amplify yung, yung discontent ng mga tao. So, yun yung naging idea nung, nung rage na yun. At uh, I think, I think, uh, it, it got its message uh, ano, through. 
it, it's amazing kasi like yung yung nung nagumpisa yung lockdown tapos lahat tayo nasa bahay lang tapos nung nagumpisa yung mga pandemic video yan ang tawag ko doon yung mga pandemic video yung i-email sa yung video tapos mag-assemble yeah. <laughs> ng baseline saka na parang tagal di ba syempre mas madali kung lahat tayo nakita-kita tapos mag-record na lang tayo di ba kaya nga kaya nga but uh, i think what's what's beautiful about this is that the creativity of the music community uh, even if we all the gigs and all the shows were stopped we still found a way to get music out there and particularly a message music uh, kasi i mean chico you're no stranger to protest you're no stranger yeah. to music as an agent for social change but let's ask the man your two younger members um uh, let's start with Paolo. Paolo, you know when you when you joined the Jerks, right? Uh, I mean, I I think you're too young to remember Martial Law, no? Wala ka pa sa Martial Law, di ba, Paolo? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. in wala terms pa, of pro, in terms of protest music, did you ever get the background or a taste of that before the Jerks? The Jerks? No, 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 no. So ang um, first formal. Ano ko, experience ko and everything was with the jerks. Actually, it was uh, it was nice because I was ano, eh, it was uh, I was uh, watching them already before I joined them <coughs> sa Habit House. So familiar na familiar ako. And uh, my friends love the jerks also. So bandmates ko. So parang nag, ano lang, parang it's not like something foreign to me. It was very. Mm-hmm. Parang tight yung community eh, at that time. Eh. 1997, uh-huh. siguro yun. 88, eight, Hobbit House. So, it's my first. So, hindi ako na ni bago. Parang madali lang yung pasok nung, in that aspect. It was, uh, so, when you, it was when you got into the jerks, when you got into the jerks, and then all of, you know, this, this uh, music, because, I, I, I mean, for me, I've always been, you know, jamming lang ako. I'll jam a few Rolling Stones to the doors. <laughs> songs and all that and i was never really awoken to the idea of music as a form of protest until the jerks for me sila yung nagbukas ng mata ko na uy pwede pala to doon ko na discover yung yeah. yung folk scene natin na uh, you know sila sila Joy Ayala sila Guy Granada and all that the the, the, the political um, protest or music as an agent of social change so did the jerks the jerks were the ones that opened you to this form of music as a protest yes and yes kasi ano eh the eric caruncho book binigay oh, sa akin yun, yung, yung poets punks and posers no <laughs> i fi- i finished I, I finished that book in two days so bilis lang tapos pag nasa 70s bistro ka kikwentohan ka rin mga ganun eh so uh-huh. Parang ang, ang saya, nasaya, nasayahan kasi ako nung binabasa ko yun, natapos ko siya in two days. Dahil uh, nakakaaliw talaga. Parang, to be honest, hindi siya foreign talaga sa ano ko eh, sa pinanggalingan ko. Parang, hmm. parang siguro nagsabay-sabay lang talaga yung, ano, uh, yung, yung protest parang ano eh, parang I understood it all the more syempre dahil sa book. At the same time, nangyayari na rin siya ngayon dahil I hear it in the lyrics, I hear it in the song. So, yeah. Nabilis lang talaga. Yeah, yeah. Para lang swak lang. Ikaw naman Ben. So fun actually I I Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Paolo. Go ahead. Nee, yeah, nag-enjoy lang ako kasi parang ang saya nito ah. Hindi yung parang ano to, yung ganun kasi pati yung book eh, parang wow, 'di ba? Parang hanap yung ano ah, yung yung paggawa pa lang ng book parang okay, so ready na ako kagad pagkatapos pagbaba ko ng book, binasa ko pa ulit eh. Okay pa rin eh. Gusto ko talaga. Parang nag-e-enjoy. Nag-enjoy ako sa ano ko. Sa entry ko. <laughs> nice. Laking bagay ng book. Ikaw, ben- Ikaw, Ikaw Benji. So, music oh. as a form oh. of protest or, you know, social change or just pure punk or rock and roll against the system. May experience ka ba dyan before the jerks? Ah. Uh, nung ano, nung nung napapakinggan ko yung mga kanta ni John Lennon. Pero bata pa ako no? Pero hindi ko alam, nakikita ko na ririnig rin ko lang yung mga kanta-kanta niya mga yung mga ano, yung mga yung mga uh, yung mga power to the people, yung mga ganun, naririnig rin ko lang. Sabi ko, ano kaya ito? Sabi ko. 
yun tapos sa uh, nung nung bata ako sumasa sumama ako sa rally yung hmm. laban ng araw uh, eh, pero wala akong ano no na ano ko lang uh, natutuwa lang ako pa professor sila galit sila kay Makoy sabi ko nakakaninag ako ng konti lang mga konti konti lang sa araw tapos yun lang yun lang na ano na, na experience ko tapos pero nung sumama na ako sa jerks yun na talaga parang sila yung naging susi eh na nagbukas sa akin correct nagbukas sa akin I have pero, to agree. Pero bago yon. Pero bago yon. Mm. Pero bago mm. yon. Yung jerks na na siguro mga nine, di ba ako nine years old lang ata ako. Chico, sorry ah. Mga nine years old ata ako noon. Yung <laughs> 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 napanood ko sila sa ano, napanood ko sila sa Rock Explo. Sa student kanin. Yun. Ang araw, oh, napanood ko sila talaga. <laughs> Tapos, <laughs> kinukwento sila sa akin ng mga taga dito sa amin, o jerks, o kaya, magsabi ko, napanood sila sa student canteen eh. Ang tinuktog gata nila, kung doon nakaka-romantic kill ba yun, Chikoy? Oo, uh, yun yung original na. Oo, yun. Oo, oh. <laughs> oh, original. Yung nasa RJ oh, nung araw. Oo, oo, oo. Yun yung, yung, yung unang nakita ko, jerks. Talaga, sila, doon ko sila unang nakita. Tapos, eh, sabi ko, Marami ako narinig sa kanila na ano, mga kwento na okay eh. Okay, sana sabi ko, balang araw, magiging banda ako. Kasi hindi, hindi pa ako banda nun eh. Sana makasama ko sila. Ganon. Eh, nangyari naman. Tapos, uh, sila yung nagturo sa akin. Sa kanila ako natutunan yung, ano, yung jam. Sila yes. nagturo sa akin nun talaga. Yung pakiramdaman. Pakiramdam lang. Hmm. Ganyan lang. Yung talaga, yun, sila nagturo sa akin nun. Na hanggang ngayon, hanggang ngayon nasa akin siya, nasa sistema ko. Kaya hindi ko makakalimutan ng jerks. So yung jamming, pakiramdaman, jamming. tinginan, kung saan tayo tinginan. pupunta. I love Yon, that. I love, I've always loved that with the jerks. And I think that's a, that's a generational thing because that was present in the bands that I at least I would watch back then. I, I, I was introduced to you guys. By through watching Coco Jam and then through June and then the jerks and I got to jam with you and the whole feeling of you know being on stage while I'm jamming a song. Tapos san tayo pupunta? Ang sarap ng feeling kasi organic siya. <laughs> Di natin alam eh. Pero tama yeah, si Benji yeah. sa tama si Benji. Iyan din din experience ko sa, sa the jerks. Yung kayo yung susi para sa akin. I I have been hearing. Apparently, I didn't realize that I was I had been listening to protest music for a majority of my life. Yung mga you know the answer my friend is blowing in the wind. That's a protest song. Yeah. Yung Bob what's Dylan. going on is a protest mm. song. And I only after discovering you guys, Chikoy, only then did I go back and understand pala what those songs were about. So kayo yung susi sa akin ng ng music <laughs> as as protest or social change. But you've been fighting the system for over 40 years. Uh, you've, you've gone from martial law, the Edsa revolution, and now the lockdown. And for me, it's, it's a little scary. Na yung buong album mo, Chikoy, yung buong album yeah. ng The Jerks is still relevant to this day. Songs, songs like, you know, as, as he said, sa, um, yeah. Sayaw sa Bubog, Rage, Rage, of course, that. That song is so is so um, anthemic now, and it's being discovered by a whole new generation that have never had to protest anything. Yung mga bagong millennial, di nila naabutan yung martial law o yung EDSA, di ba? Pero now, during the yeah. lockdown, the songs uh, that you have written in, the, in 1997, nung na-release yung album nyo, yeah, yeah. has become even mm-hmm. more relevant. Yung Haligi ng Manila and all that. Uh, before we get into that, so let's go into. Um, I'd like to figure out. I've always wanted to ask you guys these questions because we never talk about this during the gig. You so, kung nakikita tayo sa gig, tapos umiinom tayo, puro kalokohan yung usapan eh. <laughs> Pero what what I'd like to know, like I've never had, I've never had a chance to ask you, what did you grow up listening to? So Chico, let's start for with me? you. What? Yeah, Chico, let's start well, with you. What did what did you grow up listening to? Well, um. When I was in the province, um, siguro, um, high school, barely, uh, kumbaga, 
first year high school, second year high school. And then uh, my sister, my my elder sister would come home from Manila. Um, there was this time na may dala siyang 45s. Yung 45 RPM na kasi uh-huh. yun yung uso ng time na yun. Tapos yun nga, yung ano, ang una ko narinig na rock and roll under my thumb at saka yung likod nun is uh, don't you bother me. I said, oh no, don't you bother me no more. Yun, ganun, ganun. Yun, isang ano na yun. Tapos, yung isa, let's spend the night together. Puro stones. Stones oh. talaga yung narinig ko na unang-una. Before that, ang pinakikinggan ko sa probinsya, yung mga, mga radyo sa, yung mga estasyon sa probinsya na, ano, yung mga, yung mga ballads, mga Frank Sinatra, Matt Monroe, yung mga ganun. <laughs> And then yung mga Latin na ano na pampa ano pampasayaw kumbaga uh, Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass my first encounter Yun. with rock and roll was with the Rolling Stones actually yeah. and then yung girlfriend ni ano ni ni Mick Jagger si ano si Marian Faithful yung isang single na yon yung ano uh, uh, ang title nung kanta niya Is this what I get for loving you, baby? <laughs> Mukhang yun na yung blues niya kay Mick Jagger. Yung ganun oh, classic. Oh, Kasi nahuli oh, yun. Eh. <laughs> nahuli sila dalawa. Anyway, yun yung encounter ko. At that, uh, after that, nagkaroon na ako ng, uh, ano, ng, uh, kumbaga, uh, more or less na, ano, na nasettle ko na kung anong gusto kong pakinggan. Yung ganun klase. And then, uh, later on, There was this uh, magazine, Jingle Music Magazine, and then yes. it opened up everything. Yung kumbaga, ando dun lahat eh. Kumbaga, yun yung, ano, yun yung susi. At um, hindi pa ako actually marunong mag-gitara, no? Umakanta lang ako, yung ganang pat eh. Mm. Pa, pa three chords, three chords na, ano, yung mga folk. Yun. So, yun, yun yung, yun yung, ano, yun yung, uh, yun yung development ko sa, ano, kumbaga, Actually, mahirap tawaging musician ka na nun. Kasi nakikinig ka pa lang, pakanta-kanta ka, yung gano'ng klase. Mm. I had an opportunity when I was in high school to, ano, to, uh, to compete. Kasi I can carry a tune. And then uh, when, when the school uh, principal found out, tinutulak niya ako sa lahat ng mga competitions, literary musical contest. Of course, with a guitar player. Yung gano'ng klase. Oh. Ano-ano, pinakanta ko. <laughs> well, may time na nanalo ko, may time na hindi. So yun yung ano, yun yung experience ko. And then I forgot all about it. And then I'm off to Manila to go to college, yung ganung klase. Uh, somewhere along the way, I got hijacked and um, I ended up being a musician. Yung ganung klase. To make a so- uh, long story short, yung ganung klase. But I I didn't I I didn't get to finish my ano my college education. And then that's it. <laughs> And Here from I yeah, am. the 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 rest is history, brother. History, yeah. Uh, so okay. you well, that's that's what that's what's nice, you know. When you discover when you <coughs> discover a, a, a band you like, pag tinatamaan ka ng music, eventually, because yeah. music will music will pull you towards it. Eh. And that's yeah, yeah. it decide. liberates you. Yeah. Yun, yun, yun yung term dun eh, liberating. <laughs> oh, liberating. Tapos, y- or, or the other term is hijack. Na-hijack ka talaga. Yeah, hijack. Yeah. Na-hijack yeah. ka talaga ng music. Yeah, yun, yun, yun. And then, oh, be- mm. yun na yung ano, for the rest of your life. <laughs> that's that's it, di ba? Yeah. Well, let's go naman to Benji. Benji, what what did you ah. grow up listening to? Who were your first musical influences? Pero, may comment tayo dito kay Papa Bing Gomez, Austria. I love you, Benji. Sabi niya, 8 years old Lord. lang daw siya nun. Kung ikaw yung 9 years old, sabi niya, 8 years old daw lang siya. Kailangan niya talaga oh, sabihin yun. Na. Uh, you know, Bing, oh, Bing, Bing. Bing is so sensitive about his age. Uh, I don't understand why. Yeah. I only recently found out that he's older pala than me. How old is I love you, Bing. I love you, Bing. <laughs> Pero ikaw, Benji, ano yung mga unang musical influences mo? Ako, 
Beatles talaga eh. Beatles eh. Yung unang na ano ko napakinggan ko dahil kasi may mga nung araw may mga plaka yung tatay ko. Tapos may ano yung narinig ko rin nung araw mga platters, tapos yung mga cha-cha, mga kuno ano, ano pero mas mas na ano ko sa Beatles talaga mas uh, na ano ko parang hindi ko alam kung ano nangyari sa mas parang naka, naka interest ako rin sa kanila eh. Tapos uh, kasi pinapatutong ng tatay ko, pinapakinggan ko siya. Tapos sabi ko, okay itong, okay itong banda na ito ah, Beatles. Tapos, eh, gusto, hindi ko gusto sila makita ng, hindi ko sila nakikita ng ano, yung tumutugtog. No. Sabi ko, paano ko kaya sila mak- mapapanood? Eh, minsan, bumili tatay ko ng, yung Betamax pa nun eh, di ba? Yung, uh, this is Elvis. Huh? Yung istorya ni Elvis. Uh-huh. Eh, doon pinakita yung Beatles Doon ko nakita yung Beatles uh, Nung pumoto sila ng Amerika Tapos doon ko sila unang nakita Sabi ko, ah, ito pala yung, ito pala yung Beatles Sa ano, sa, sa Parang sa, yung gumagalaw na sila Kasi puro picture lang mm-hmm. Eh, tapos yun ha Hanggang sa pinakinggan ko na yung mga kanta nila Tapos Lahat ng album nila Mula doon sa unang album Hanggang doon sa Let it be, yung lahat na yun, pinakinggan ko siya. Tapos, uh, ayun, sa ginagaya-gaya ko na si Ringo Star. <laughs> uh, <parang> gano, no? <laughs> Tapos yun, pagkatapos doon, uh, yun yung influence ko. Tapos yun na, yung mga rock na, yung mga Led Zeppelin, yung mga Deep Purple, Jimi Hendrix, yung mga lumang rock, yung mga classic rock, no? Mas, 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 still, ano, mas, still, uh, still the best rock for me, man. That's still the best rock oh, for me. Oh, oh. Grand oh, punk. Na comment na naman si Bing. Uh, <laughs> I got into I got into punk rock when I saw the jerks at on disco. Wow. So Bing, <laughs> Bing, oh, you're a, you're actually aging yourself because <laughs> you know <laughs> na, none of us. <laughs> ako hindi ko umabot ng on disco eh. <laughs> That was a long time mas ago. Matanda, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mas matanda ka sa akin, Bing. Oh, yan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yung mali si Bing, dyan, eight years old. Oh. Ano ang tawag oh. dyan? Self-incriminating evidence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go, let's, go to, let's go to Paolo. Paolo, ano yung mga unang musical influences mo? Uh, growing up ako, ano, halo-halo talaga. Kasi yung, yung mu- family of musicians kami, pero naririnig ko, may classical, may, may, yung dad ko was into Beatles also, pero nag, nag uh, ano din siya, nag, the jazz, smooth jazz pa nga, I mean, everything na masarap pakinggan, pati yung mom ko, pop naman, so, growing up, halo-halo, ang dami kong guilty pleasures, so, nung nag-start na ako maging interesado sa, mag, mag-drums, gusto ko lahat ng music by that time, pero, ano challenge ako, I wanted to be challenged, I actually thought that, I was, a metal music fan and uh, mm. I thought that was the hardest to play kasi ma, ano eh, may, feeling ko mahirap mag, mag ano eh, paluan ng metal so I, I doubled into that pati progressive music and then um, years din yun tapos uh, until later later when I turned 20 yung mga bands ko wala namang metal it was really simple sumali ako sa jerks 23 ako eh so by that time, nakapag-blues na ako, na-realize ko, mas mahirap patugtugin pala itong mga blues and uh, rock kesa sa mga pinag-aaral-aral ko nung, uh, nung, nung nag-start ako mag-drums. Pero at the same time, yung appreciation ko naman talaga for music was ano eh, super magkagulo. <laughs> Iba-iba. So, uh, Pagdating ng time na ano, nung tu- nag-mature na ako, ayoko na ng metal, naging... Uh, pero I, I was already into rock, actually. Yung pinaka-favorite ko music lang uh, growing up was, syempre, play mga 90s rock, <laughs> mga Skid Row, <laughs> mga... mga uh, uh, what do you call it? Kite GNR, yeah. Guns N' oh, Roses. Guns pero Roses. later on, <clears throat> mga 90s yun. Pero later on, lalo na up, up to now, eh, until, I never played those songs. I played the songs before those, like what you said, mga Led Zepp, mga SRV, mga mas luma. So, basically, uh, naghalo lang talaga lahat sa akin. Sting. 
Actually, uh, lahat eh. Lahat talaga gusto ko eh. Sting, Steely Dan, Michael Jackson, Queen, Doors, for sure. Doors, ang tagal ko dyan. Uh, uh, what then? Pag pinaghalo mo yun, hip-hop. Gusto ko rin ng hip-hop. So, na, siguro, ano na talaga, nag-stay na sa akin lahat yun. Wala, except, to be honest, yung metal, medyo naiingayan na ako. Yung, yung punk ako rin. Pa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nag, nag-comment yung, ngayon yung, si TJ. <laughs> nag-comment ngayon si TJ Lombos. Oh, if time travel or time machine is true, the on disco days and gapo days ng The Jerks is definitely on my itinerary. Sabay tayo, TJ. Sama ako sa, sa time machine. <laughs> Gusto ko ma-experience yung Gapo in its heyday and on disco. Tapos makikita natin si Bing Austria nung 8 years old siya. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, speaking of time machine, kasi we're gonna start yeah. talking about how the band got together, right? Talking about time machine and a lo- what a long, strange trip it's been. Let's bring on a good friend of ours and one of the best guitar players that I know. I'm honored to call him a friend, a collaborator, <coughs> and a brother. Let's please welcome on the show, Mr. June Lupito. Yay! Yay. Where's this guy? Oh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, June. Looking good. They're looking good. Looking good. How are you? I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay, Luna. Si Bing, right, Bing ha, on ko, ha, on this field na sabi ni Bing, di ba? Oo. Oh. <laughs> Luna, kumahan na yan, ha? <laughs> Pero mo si John, kung nakikita niya si Bing sa on this ko. So, okay, so let's, let's talk about, like, how the band first got together. And I'm sure there are a lot of experiences that we're gonna be hearing from June and Chikoy. Uh, about what a long, strange trip it's been, and uh, the the best gigs and the worst gigs. But how how did the jerks manifest? Chikoy, let's throw that to you. Tapos June will, I'm sure June will remember things differently. Yeah. So parang okay. may check, may, um, may check and balance tayo <laughs> between Chikoy and June. <laughs> parang tayong gobierno, ah. Huh? <laughs> parang gobierno. Anyway, I, 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 I got I got my story worked up. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, uh, nag-umpisa to nung folk singer ako. Ah, uh, mm. I was a folk singer and uh, from time to time I would see June, ah, uh, my father's mustache, hobbit house, yung ganun klase. And, kumbaga, uh, kumbaga, si June has this uh, notorious uh, reputation of being, uh, being a great guitar player and very, uh, Flamboyant. So and uh, I'm 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 a little bit distant uh, from him. Kung baga hindi ako lumalapit sa kanya. <laughs> Pero ando dun yung admiration ko kung baga dun sa sa ano niya. Kasi kung baga as far as level is concerned, wala ako sa level niya time na yun. Kasi I, I can only strum the acoustic guitar and he's uh he's already up st- uh, on stage with Joey Smith and everyone else. So anyway. Ito yung nangyari kasi um, while I was uh, applying those ano kumbaga yung yung mga lugar na yun sa Ermita um, he approached me kumbaga kumbaga of all people he would approach me yung ganong klase yung pala uh, gusto niya akong ano alukin sabi niya would you want to uh, join uh, my band I'm forming this band actually this is not the jerks yet Oh. Ito yung ano, ito yung umpisa. <laughs> Sabi niya, um, magre-rehearse tayo and then uh, ano, ganito, ganito. Uh, may gig kasi. Actually, it's, it was a one-night stand. And um, dito sa ano yun eh, San Marcelino, the, the place was called Studio A. Actually, nag-close na na folk house yun. <laughs> si June, mukhang ano, kumbaga, I, I, I can still remember the ano the look on his face. It was a face of uh, desperation. Yung ganong klase. <laughs> and he was so nice. Yung ganong klase. So, this is so strange. Parang ganon. So, uh, sabi ko, sige, uh, when do we start rehearsing? Kasi hindi ko alam yung mga piyesa. So, 
Sabi, tinuro niya sa akin sa si Kia apartment. Ang lapit-lapit. From my father's mustache, nakikita mo yung building. Yung pala doon nakatira si Rico. At saka yung girlfriend niya, si Nancy. Doon yung rehearsal. So, pumupunta ako doon ng, ay, nag-umpisa akong pumunta doon. And it turns out na merong uh, ano doon, nandoon doon yung girlfriend dati ni Lupito na ano na na British model. Wow. <laughs> At uh, martial artist. <laughs> wow. Martial artist din dun, di ba? Um, <laughs> nagiiinsayo 'yun minsan sa kanya eh. Anyway, ang galing niya magsteno. Yung gan- <laughs> Tapos <laughs> yung buong album ng Rolling Stones sa Some Girls ginawa niya ako ng lyrics. Wala pang computer noon eh. Kaya ano, siya yung tiga makinilya. At tapos, um, nakagawa na, pagdating ko doon, nakagawa na yung repertoire. So, nag na kami. At that time, kumbaga, very demanding. Kasi, kumbaga, ang alam ko lang kantahin noong time na yun, nilyang. So, ang layo, kakanta ako ng, uh, ng Herman Brood and the Wild Romance, kakanta ako ng uh, The Damned, kakanta ako ng Ramones, kakanta ako ng Dead Boys, kakanta ako ng, at the same time, yung aming uh, for good measure, kailangan may kilala. So, there's the Rolling Stones, yung ganong klase. So, hmm. lahat yun, pati nga si Jackson Brown, nandun pa eh, kasi gusto magpasikat ni Lupito sa, sa slide niya. So, kailangan namin tugtugin yung ano, running on empty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yun. Ay, oh, yun, yun. Siya lang gumawa nun. So anyway, yun na yun. Yun yung repertoire namin. So very impressive talaga. So, siguro after two days, uh, yun na yung gig. Turns out na ako yung, ano, ako yung first set, dalawang set yun eh. And then the, the next set was ano, uh, Joey, si Pepe. Kaya lang hindi niya maano. Uh, kaya lang hindi niya masigurado kung nakarating siya kaagad-agad so yun yung papel ko <laughs> <laughs> yun yung papel ko yun yung papel ko so anyway I I really appreciated it kasi kumbaga up to this time you know that was that was ano kumbaga the, 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 the start of that ano kumbaga that kind of music my encounter with it so after that gig hindi ko na natanggal sa isip ko yun na I wanted to come up with uh, to, uh, to have a band. The same way as this band, kumbaga, yung ganong klase. As aggressive as this band. Kasi ang dami na basag na bote nung gabing yun. Nag, uh, ano, nag, <laughs> tumbahan yung mga lamesa. Courtesy of June, of course. Everything. <laughs> yung ganong klase. So, yun yun. Um, siguro, a few months uh, later, Na-meet ko to si Nitoy sa Ermita. Doon, nag-uusap na kami nung ano, sabi ko gusto ko magtayo ng banda. Then, yun nga. Tapos, I remember na si Lupito nagbabanggit ng isang bahista na magaling. Yun yung original na bass player ng The Jerk, si, si, ano, si Boy Matriano. Which is, ano, kasi si Floor nun ang drummer nung banda namin ni Lupito. Yung unang banda. So, nandun na. Si Floor na talaga yung magiging drummer. And then it so happened na at that time, si Floor, kasama niya si Boy nung time na yun. So, nung pinuntahan namin sa bodega si Floor, nandun na si Boy. Yun yung, ano, so parang pinag, ano, ano, pinag, uh, parang bang, ano, parang uh, puzzle na tinuro sa kung paano gawin. So yun, yun yun yung yun yung parang pinaka-core nung ng nung banda. Is didagdag mo pa yung makulit naming harmonica player si Jills. <laughs> Kasama ko nung sa unang folk singer ako si Jills Dawag na ang husay-husay mag-harmonica no. Anyway, yun yung start, yun yung unang ano. Tapos si si June hindi ko maaya. After ano after some time na lang na ano, nung parang debut namin sa TGIF, tinama namin si Lupito. Of course, the same repertory naman yun. So, grabe, ibang klase yung ano, halos mag-iba yung mesa ni nung, ano, nung tinutugtugan kong folk house, yung uh, 
Actually, tumugtog din si Lupita ron eh. Yung TGIF. Tapos, <laughs> riot yung ano na yun. Kasi, ang ganda nga ng tugtugan. Tapos, ganado-ganado kami. So, yun na yun. Yun yung start nun. Mahaba ba? <laughs> oh, de, that, that's, that's, that, I've never heard this story. That's a great yeah, yeah, story. Yeah. <laughs> ang, ang ganda ng uh, and and no uh, looking at June's laughter as you were telling that story um I think more memories are coming back June who is this model and uh, martial artist no <laughs> no we're not gonna talk about that we're not gonna talk about that June what made you go to Chicoy the folk singing time oh. Chicoy yung ano Chicoy yung hot sa TGIF But I, I didn't know what to be. So I I was practicing Neil Young, you know. Yung narinig ko si Chikoy, wala. Habi ko, panis to. Panis na ako dito. Hindi ako pwede kumanta ng Neil Young kasi may kabody si Meron lang Neil Young doon. Oh. So what happened? It's like, okay, nag-Peter like Frampton ako dahil 1975. Sikat si Peter Frampton. Dito ako, papasok. Pero it was a short stint. I started playing, you know, lead. Pinag-tripan ko na siya laga. So, nagkahiwalay na kami ni Chikoy yung time na yun. Kayo na nga yung kwento sa San Marcelino na nagkita-kita kami ulit. Tapos nang binuunan ni Chikoy yung jerk, wala na ako na. Sa Hong Kong ako nung papunta ako ng London eh. Kasama ko nga yung hotel na yun na <laughs> <laughs> so, hindi na natutupay dito ba? <laughs> so, I went back. When I went back, they were playing at Bodega in uh, in Ermita. So, yun. Doon na nag-start. Pa, sulput-sulput ako. Then, Pepe, sees me. Oh, sa- sama ka ulit. So, I was like torn. Torn between two rockers, you know? Like, okay. Pero, mas, mas ano ako kay sa jerks kasi stable to eh. Sa kakabatch ko, kahit kaedad ko. Si Pepe, hindi. <laughs> so, parang si Jaworski yun eh, di ba? Parang ganun eh. So, naro-naro lang ako dito sa dalawa. Di ba? That's how it really started, you know. <laughs> so, I would, um, I would, I would really what? love to have a time machine. Diba, si Paolo <laughs> nagdanado, diba? At saka Benji, diba? Ang sarap siguro kumuha ng time machine tapos bumalik sa days na yun, diba? Then si Lachikoy oh, got, uh, the jerk got the gig is on disco. Yun yung sinasabi ni Bing, yung on hmm. disco. Yan, nanonood pa si Papa Dong niyan, si Bong Lennon, si Nonong. Nasa labas sila, sila nila pumasok. Diba? Yung, <laughs> uh, high-end yung ano, yung on disco, para studio 54 yun eh. May IS, may mga models, may mga foreign dignitaries. Nandun sila lahat, di ba? Ayan, si Chico yung naka-jam, si Paul, ano ba his name? Si Paul, Paul uh, Kelly. Paul Kelly. Paul Kelly. Ah, Paul Kelly. Si Rod Stewart nga. Actually, sikat pa rin hanggang ngayon yun. Ha? Sikat sa Australia pa rin yun eh, si Paul yeah. Kelly. Oh, matanda na rin. Hindi na Paul Kelly. Na. Hindi na, parang Bob Dylan na siya ng ano eh, naging Bob Dylan, full-time songwriter. Well, anyway, yeah. katapos yun, yung own disco, it's one of those uh, nights, you know, I mean, ilan taon tayo sa own disco? Mga one year din na tayo, two years. Tagal din doon, di ba? Oo, oh, ma. Mga two years, Matagal. siguro. Oo, oh, maraming, maraming kwento pang nangyari doon eh. Oh, marami pa doon, oh, eh. Oh, oh. It was, it, kasi yun yung, ano, yun yung time na, ano, yung, yung advent ng punk rock, no? kaya, very electrifying yung atmosphere ng, ano, ng music, yung music scene nung time na yun, talagang, ibang klase, to be part of it, is something else too. Kasi, yung jerks, nasa gitna nung lahat ng yun. Kasi we're mm-hmm. the only band who can, we, we are the only band who can deliver such, kind of music with so much energy and sabihin na nating aggressiveness and uh, ano, kumbaga <laughs> ang lakas namin mga sar nun eh yun yung ano nun yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway yun yung ano yun yung 
Iyon yung kumpaka embodiment yung the jerks nung yung punk rock na attitude nung time na yon. Courtesy of Lupito. Yeah. Well, also the punk. New wave na punk pa, na may soul pa, na pwede mo oh, mag-press yun, yung tugtog na namin sa yawan. Kaya kami nasa disco eh. Parang <laughs> rock music at this time na yun. And fashion. Eh. So, all, all, all to get. We're always wearing eyeliners, you know? Bahista. Tattoo na ata yung eyeliner sa mat. Hanggang ngayon daw si Boy nagkakaroon. Mayroon pang Wala. ganun eh. <laughs> So yun, yun, yun yung kwento na yun. And then well, after think... nung Okay, after nung on disco, um humina bigla yung scene dito sa Maynila. So uh, we decided to go to Olonga po. Kasi uh, we found out na there was some interest among the Chinese businessmen there na i-hire yung the jerks dun sa ano in one of uh, the clubs so we went there yeah, the scene kasi di ba si Koy wala na eh di ba nawawala kaya oh, nung oh. dumating so nandun na si Pepe nandun si Sampakita oh, oh. si Gary Perez nandun na han di ba so we were like we were hot Jamie we were like uh, like 21, 22 you know we were a hot team hatang hata kami so pagdating dun Mas lalo pa kami yung pinahasa doon, di ba? Sabi no, iba kasi doon. Iba yung... Doon. Isipin mo, we Kailangan have to mag- play for sleep. Sometimes seven sleep yung dadating doon. Alam mo ba kung gano'ng karaming sailors and navy yung nga dadaan ng magsaysay doon? Pucha, wow! <laughs> <laughs> Grabe doon, di ba? Ibang training yon para sa jerks. Ibang, iba yung experience namin doon. We didn't we didn't have to go out of the country to play Japan or somewhere else. Now we'll have to yeah. change our you know repertoire and all that. No, we did not. We played rock and roll. So, wala. At a young age na ganoon, you know, pag-uwi namin si Nito, ang daming dala ng Jack Daniel, stream dream ng mga <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, like with, with the Gopo days when you would play Fleet Week when the bases were still on and all that, I mean, bringing your, your brand of high energy, aggressive rock and roll that you can dance to, I'm sure that formula. Um, especially with servicemen who are, you know, they've been at sea for six months and all that. I'm sure pagpasok nila sa club nyo, nagwawala yun. Pag nagsustones kayo, you know, if you're playing your 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 punk music, I'm sure nagwawala sila doon. And the scene, I mean, when, when the scene moved to Gapo, again, I would love to have a time machine to go to that scene and watch you guys and maybe jam, right? Pero yung energy na yun, parang never nawala sa inyo eh. I mean, yeah, we, you know, you're you're older now. You're not 21 years old. But that aggressiveness yeah. <laughs> and that energy somehow still is inside you, I think. Um, because I mean, it was much. It was years later when I when I met you guys and I started jamming with you guys, and you know, even seeing you guys. Um, play uh, later on that energy yung parang yung punk sensibility nyo yung, yung punk attitude nyo never nawala eh how do you keep that going for 40 years guys? well probably Most... uh, yung, yung, yung passion dun sa ano dun sa tugtog yung sabihin na natin ano uh, marubdob na pagmamahal sa gawain yun dun sa musika na yon sa tugtog na yon yung yun yun eh hindi lang sa ano ah kumbaga yung 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 
Actually, yun na yung mismo yung, ano eh, yun na yung mismo yung personality mo eh. Kumbaga, yun na yung extension ng sarili mo. Yung ganun, yung, yung, yun yung nakikita ko sa sarili ko. Nakikita ko kay June. Yung, kasi, we don't know how to do it any other way. Kumbaga, kumbaga, dun, yun lang nang alam namin, ano eh, pag sinabing tutugtog ka, yun lang yung alam mong ano ko pa paano mo i-express yung sarili mo. So I think yun yung nag ano eh yun yung humihila sa sa akin. Pagdating nung time na you will hit the stage again. Yung ganong klase. The same way na si Benji at saka si Paolo, nag-adapt sila dun sa style na yun kasi I'm sure kahit na bata pa sila, meron silang ganon eh. Meron silang yung passion na ano. Kasi none of us really went to school for this. Yung ganong klase. So, ang, ang ano namin, ang orientation namin, we play it by ear. And by doing so, kailangan mong hugutin yun sa loob-loob mo eh. Without the benefit of an education, musical education. Kailangan mong hanapin sa loob mo yan. Eh. And then somehow, we found it. That's why we're here. It's a rage, That's what, man. <laughs> it's the rage. Yeah. It's the rage against exactly. the gang of the life. Yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. Let's, talk, let's, let's talk to the two kids naman. Kids talaga, no? <laughs> diba? That's so, guys, 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 when you started, when you were, well, you know, ako pwede pa akong pumanggap na kid, eh. So kasama ako dito na kid daw. Kid, diba? <laughs> Um, Paolo, Benji, when you guys started jamming with these guys who were already mm-hmm. legends in their own time, in their own right, I did not know. Me personally, when I started jamming with with June and Chikoy, when I would get we get invited on stage to do a door song or a stone song, I did not understand or I did not realize um, that I was playing with legends. I was playing with guys who I loved, I adored, I enjoyed their music, I enjoyed their company. And that was my introduction to them. And only later on did I find out that, oh my God, these guys are, these guys are legends. When you started playing um, for the Jerks and you started, napaka tight yung music scene, di ba? When you started playing with them, was there any pressure in terms of, oh my God, kasama ko si Jun Lupito. Oh my God, kasama ko si Chikoy Pura. Oh my God, kasama ko si Litoy. May ganun ka ba? Paolo, let's go to you. Um, okay. Uh, actually, when I started with the jerks, it's exactly 20 years ago. Wow. Si yeah, mo. 20th anniversary mo. Yeah, better <laughs> drummer ka nun. Drummer yeah. ka nun, tapos naging bassista ka. So, yeah, ibang, yeah. May, may kwento tayo mamaya, ha? paano ka nag-shift to bass. Ha? Pero when you started playing with them, ano yung, ano yung, ano yung, yung pressure mo dun? Kung meron man lang. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yung pasok ko sa kanila, nakita ko yung song list, no? Two pages. Sabi ko, wow, never pa ako nakatanggap ng ganitong kadaming songs. Yung the fact na hindi pa yun lahat yun. <laughs> So, mm. sampung, sam, dami, dami artist. Natuwa kasi ako, ano eh, um, they really cradled me to that uh, shape ba? Yung, they know what they want eh. So, yung, to be honest, yung pressure sa akin was to play uh, simple. Si Chikoy, ang laki ng tinulong sa akin. And uh, yung pinuntahan pa ako sa gig para hanapin eh, hindi, hindi hanapin para uh, i-pep talk pa ako noon and to un- make me understand no it was a nice ano eh uh, in, yung pressure actually to be honest yung dami ng songs and then later on yung pressure yung akala ko okay na ako hindi pala <laughs> dami ko pa pala kailangan ayusin ibig sabihin yung, yung, yung well yung tempo of course drummer's tempo pero yung ano yung particular sila sa taste and attitude ng bawat songs because sometimes yung next song is uh, sobrang layo sa song prior so ang ganda to be honest uh, that part naman of pressure is uh, hindi na pressure para sa akin ano na 
in embrace ko kasi I really wanted to become that ano the what they wanted needed from me gusto ko talagang makuha yon so ang ganda kasi every sun sorry Sunday stand the citas pala yon every Friday sa 70s bistro is the chance to make it better than the last time every week yon yes. hindi naman natapos eh tapos may Saturdays pa sa Habit House ang dami kong ano experience diyan na ano na talagang kala ko okay na hindi pa so yung part na yon it's just It's just ano eh, yung, 20, yung first year ko talaga, actually, ano eh, I look back at it, ang uh, dami ko natutunan. This is where I really learned the most talaga. Kasi before naman that, I played with, ano, kunyari, example, I played with Binky Lampano before Jerks. Wala ako nakuha ang ganitong schooling. Ang schooling ko doon, bala ka siguro, tsaka, iba eh, kasi blues yun eh, I already came from that. So, kailangan ko lang gumaling ng ng you know major pressure yung 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 galing doon dito yung pressure is makuha ko yung attitude ng song and uh, kailangan talaga ano um I, i need to ano uh be consistent and dami talaga this whole uh, journey from the first year even up to the later years talagang challenge sa akin to make sure na yung palo ko ano uh, pang ano pang uh, that's the pressure part yung palo ko na pressure din ako kasi na, which nadala ko na yun sa ano sa next year eh i session with other bands after nakuha ko lahat to sa jerks kumbaga is what i can say kasi nung 23 ako i was a sponge i wanted to absorb everything so every week yun yun yung pressure sa akin pero at the same time nung time na yun It didn't feel like pressure. Parang kailangan ko lang gawin ng gawin ng gawin. And it was fun. It was, it was hard. It was nice because... Uh, ano, it was... It, it was like, ano lang. Like parang, growing... Parang ano eh. Una-una, ito pa yun. Oh. Ito pa, ito pa. Hindi ako pinapagalitan. Ang bait nila magsabi kung ano yung kailangan. So parang... Ah, oh, sige, gagawin ko talaga. Ganun, ganun. Napaka ganda ng experience ko dyan. The whole time. Isipin mo... Napapressure ako, pero yung, 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 yung product nila nalabas ko out of love. Hindi dahil sa pressure. Out of want and yung love. So, yeah. You just, you just want to become better. Really you want to, you want to play better. You want to make them happy. Basically. Para, para silang, para silang parents. Para silang parents to me. Raising me. Na-raise talaga. <laughs> matanda talaga. Matanda talaga. <laughs> Well, that, that's 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 the thing bagay. also that when 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 like for example when I would go up and jam with uh, the jerks Chikoy or when I would go up and jam with June, and you know as a vocalist you know it's less pressure on me because I don't have to keep the tempo I'm not a drummer, so if I forget the lyrics all I have to do is make up the lyrics which I have done on many occasions, <laughs> but the thing but the thing is playing with these these masters I would uh, sorry June and Chikoy I would have to call you masters. Playing with these masters, tama yan eh. Hindi ka pinapagalitan eh. Alam mo lang kung, kung if you did well that night, they'll, they'll share a beer, a beer with you. If you did not do well that night, may iba silang kausap pagkatapos ng dig. Yung ganun, parang, parang uh, I think I better work on it. Di ba? I better work on it. And, and, uh, Kada gig, every after gig, And, and every every okay ba? Oh, di ba? Kasi I mean, of course you want to do well, and you're like you said, you're a sponge, you're absorbing everything. But like I I understand how you feel about the two pages of songs. Si June naman, wala siyang two pages of songs eh. Nagsistram lang siya, tapos biglang mago call out siya ng song. A live to ah, sa gig to ah. And that's where I had to finally learn the entire catalog of the Rolling Stones. Kasi kung Doors yan, kabisado ko. Pero yung Rolling Stones, I only know very few songs. June would call out a song. He's already playing it. So I'm like, oh, oh my God, I have to be able to sing this. Yung experience ko naman with Chikoy, when I would jam with him, he would always, oh no, Jamie, what do you want to sing? So at least my comfort level na ganun. But the beauty of playing with these masters is that it, they always push you to do better. Pero hindi ka naman napapagalitan. Hindi ka naman pressure. 
if you have like the attitude and you know we I mean we all have made mistakes especially sa second set pag nakainom na tayo uh, nagkaka mistakes tayo lahat but the beauty about it is like you're right they're like your parents educating you on this is how it's done and to get that kind of education like Chikoy said they're the old school and there's no school like the old school this is how you actually do it you know because you learn to jam eh? and that that whole thing is so important benji what about you was there any pressure on you when you came into the band uh oh kasi nung gabing wala na silang drummer noon tinawagan ako ni paul benitez sabi niya ah ah Jay, pwede ka ba sa jerk? Sabi sa akin. Sabi ko, oh, sabi ko, matagal na nga ako nag-a-apply kay Chikoy. Sabi ko, noong pa, sa Red Rocks ba yan? Sa, uh, oh, Red Rocks. <laughs> sabi ko, oh, nag-apply na ako. Chikoy, baka pag wala si Flora. Sabi ko, sabi ko, oh, sige, sige, sige. Sabi sa akin. Eh, sige, pag ano, sabi ko, uh, papaloyin kita, sabi sa akin. Tapos, eh, pero wala, matagal pa yun, matagal pa yun. Tapos, galing akong ano kasi nun, galing akong biyahe nun eh. Bumiyahe ako isang taon eh. So, pagbalik ko, tinawagan ako ni Paul, sabi sa akin ni Paul, uh, G, pwede ka ba si Jerk? Sabi ko, oo. Oh, sabi ko, pwede, pwede ako dyan. Sabi ko, tagal ko nang... Sabi ko, kumbaga, pangarap ko talagang makasama sila eh. Uh, sige, pwede ako. Kailan ba? Mamiang gabi. Ha? Sabi, sabi, <laughs> mamiang, oh, ano, oh, pressure sabi, nga naman gabi, yun, no? Pressure. Kasi, <laughs> oh, kasi alis, alis na ako, pupunta ako ng Dabao, dahil may binubuo silang grupo rin na uh, South Border. South border. Sabi ko, oh, kasi wala, wala, wala silang dra- oh, sabi ko, sige, sige, sige. Kinausap ko na sila si Koy, oh, daw, okay daw, okay daw. Yan. Sige, okay. So, pagpunta ko ron, sabi ko, ano kaya tutugtugin ko? Kasi, ang tagal ko rin sa biyay. So, eh, yun ko na, yung mga, yung mga, alam ko lang muna. Oh, gee, ito, alam mo to. Sabi ko, oh, alam ko yan, alam ko yan. Oh, sige, sige. Nandali, paano intro nyo dyan? Uh, ganto, ganto lang. Okay, sige. Pero yung mga ibang kantang hindi ko alam, sabi ko, Chikoy, paano yan? Oh, ganto lang intro nyan. Tapos, may baksakan ba yan? Ah, oh, mayroon sa bandang ganito. Yung ending, ganito. Sabi ko. <laughs> sabi ko. O oh, sige, sige, sige. Okay, okay, okay. Basta kasama ko kayo, sige, okay, okay sa akin. So, uh, may pressure. Pero, noong unang gabi, siyempre, medyo, ano, medyo kabadong kabado ko nun. So, pagkatapos nun, uh, ininsayo nila ako. Nagpainsayo si Chikoy. Sabi niya, oh, insayo tayo. Ayan. Ang ganda ng insayo kami. Ako ako yung inisayo nila pala, ako yung inisayo nila. Tapos ang ginagawa ko para matandaan ko yung mga piyesa nila, nirerecord ko sa cassette. Nirerecord ko cassette para ma, para ma, maano ko yung mga sequence, sequence sila. Ayun, hanggang sa pagtagal-tagal yung pag-iinsayo namin, uh, nakatulong sa akin ng malaki tapos hanggang sa Si Angelo pa bayista noon. Tapos hanggang sa nagpalit na ng bayista uli, si Pino. Pino na. Hmm. O, oh, yun. Tapos hindi na naulit yung <laughs> insayo, sa... no? <laughs> oh, wala na, wala na. Si Pino na, wala na insayo. <laughs> yun, 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 yun yun, pakiramdaman talaga. Pakiramdaman talaga, oh, pagdating kay Pino. Wala na insayo yun, no? Wala na insayo yun. Tugtugan na kami yun, no? Tugtugan na kami yun. Oh. Ayun, yun. Yun yung ano, yun yung, yung unang sal- sala ko sa kanila talaga, talagang, Medyo kabadong-kabado talaga ako dahil hindi ko kabisado yung ibang mga pyesa nila. Pero ginagabayan nila ako noon eh. Ginagayad nila ako eh. Si Chikoy, si, sila sila, sila lahat. Si Angelo. Pag kumakata na si Chikoy, tinitignan ko na siya. Tapos sabi ko, Angelo, paano ending? Eh si Angelo, si Angelo magaling eh. Iaano niya sa akin yung ending. Iaano niya sa akin yung takbo ng ending. Tum, 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 tum. Habang tumutugtog yun ha. Tum, 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 tum. Oh, sige, okay, ha? tatandaan ko na. Ayun, kaya... <laughs> Minsan nasisipa pa nga ako ni Angelo. Eh. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Angelo ko binip kay Angelo. Eh. Sabi ko, Angelo, paano baksakan? Tumutugtog yun, ha? paano baksakan? Tum, 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 ginagano niya. Ah, sige, okay, okay, alam ko na, alam ko na. So, malaking tulong din si Angelo. Oh, malaking tulong din si Angelo. Kaya, kaya nakabisado ko yung mga pyesa nila. See, that's 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 the beauty of playing with with I I I have to say it again the masters, diba When you get called up to jam, um, like 
you know, at any given moment, parang sa case mo, Benji, o oh, mamayang gabi, may tugtog, di ba? They will take care of you. Eh. Because everybody is, you know, on that stage, kahit na long jam, kahit na kung saan-saan pupunta yung music, yung pakiramdaman and all that, basta magkita-kita tayo ulit, okay lang eh. And that's the beauty of it because they'll take you through it, they'll take care of you on that stage. And ang sarap ng feeling sa ganun. Uh, I'm just reading through all the comments we're getting. I want to do sh- just a quick shout out, no? Alec uh, Pulidos in the house. Juan Molina is watching. Nino Mendoza Hi, is here. <laughs> Boyet, uh, si TJ Lombos. Boyet Seasons in the house. Si Gold. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, si Papa Bing, na nine years old lang daw siya. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, ikaw nag-bring up ng AJ eh. okay. uh, so I want to shout out to uh, Bjorn Batakan Si Banlao ba yon? Yes, I played Banlao in the musical It's okay, but it's not about me tonight It's about the jerks Alright um, Si uh, Manny Adea is watching Manny Uy! Oh, Kapit bahay mo, June Oh, lumabas si Manny um, oh, so yung... Palhala Oo oh, oh. So yung um when before before we move on to other specifics and other topics I want to find out okay from the four of you guys who are on the call right now what is your most memorable gig with the jerks the gig I mean I know it's hard to call when we get to you mahirap yan kasi you know that's that's 40 years but All let's right. start out with uh, the boys first then we go to June then let's end with Chikoy Benji, ikaw muna. Other than your first oh. night na, ha? Huh? Hindi ko kabisado yung mga kanta. Ano yung pinaka-memorable uh-huh. Uh-huh. gig mo sa Jerks? Sa akin, yung pinaka-memorable ko, may tinugtugang kaming isang eskwelahan nun eh. Uh, tapos, ang drum set nun is talagang, par- kahoy talaga. Yung bass drum niya, Hindi ko malamang kung container siya ng tubig eh. Parang ganun eh. Tapos yung pedal niya, pare kahoy. Kahoy na merong, merong grabber. Yung rubber sa tirador. Oo. Oh, oh. Yun yung, oh, yun yung ginamit ko. Sabi ko, eh wala, wala naman choice eh. Diba? Kung baga, yan yung nandyan eh. So, patunogin ko na lang siya. Yun, yun ang memorable na hindi ko siya nakakalimutan. Na, pero okay sa akin kasi, iba eh. Pero tugtog pa rin kami. Tugtog pa rin kami. Saan ba yan, Benji? Kami, no? Sa Pasig? Ata eh, ata oh, hindi ko na matandaan eh. Yung kapatid yung ni Esperanza Pabon, oh. ang kukuha sa atin, yung kapatid ni Esperanza Pabon. <laughs> oh, oh eskwelahan oh, yun, oh, walang tao. Oh, eskwelahan oh, 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 oh tatanda. Walang tao yun. Yung drums yun. ko, pare, talaga, yung drums talaga, yung pedal talaga, pare, kahoy na may rubber ng... Oh, oh, kasi parang ano yun eh, parang... Parang hindi alam ng mga taong nando doon na may tugtog. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ala, 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 ala. Oh, tagalit wow. pa nga nanay noon eh, nung kapatid ni Esperanza Pabon kasi bakit daw nagdala ng maraming pagkakainin sa bahay nila? Ito sabihin, siya lang may alam nung gig na 'yon. <laughs> 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 tapos tapos sumihingi sa kanya ng pera kasi di babayad niya sa atin yun yung kwento oh. nun eh <laughs> naalala ko ah yun di ko nakakalimutan oh, oh, yun yun yun, yun. <laughs> oh, let's go naman to Paolo Paolo ano yung ano yung pinaka memorable gig mo ako siguro for me yung mga out of yung mga out of town siguro uh, ang dami pero sig- bin- siguro example na lang yung ano yung tumugtog kami sa Samal Island sa Davao ay wow <laughs> dahil, siguro dahil ano dahil spoiled kami nun tapos uh, sobrang spoiled kami nun pagkain drinks and, and uh, uh, yung para kami basta sobrang ganda eh, ng island eh. Samal Island we, we were tapos siguro oh, alam ko yun naalala ko yun Boracay Nice. Ay, yung ay, hirap eh dami yeah, yeah, yeah. kasi uh, kay Charlie Charlie's uh, Charlie's Soler uh, Steakhouse Soler memorable din yun Charlie kay Charlie Soler yeah, Charlie Soler mm. kanda kasi sa, mm-hmm. naging memorable lalo yun kasi wala na yun eh yun lang, yun lang. 
Pero madami. Nice. Pero yung Samal Because Island I, ayun, ano eh. Hard to uh, pick one. Na high blood ako ron eh. Puro baboy yung ulam. Grabe pagkain. Puro baboy yung ulam. Grabe sabi ko. Grabe. Nag, nag, nag tunnel vision ako ron. Na pag-ising ko sa umaga. Sabi ko, shit, ano ba't nangyayari sa akin to? Matindi yun. Pero maganda yung samal na yun. Grabe Kay Odi Bukoy. Kila, kila Odi yun. Kila Odi Bukoy. Nag-jet ski ka pa ron, kaya memorable sa'yo yun, Paul. Ay, ayun, nag-jet ski <laughs> yan pala eh. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Uh, uh, let, let's, let's go Solo to June. Oh, nice. <laughs> June, what about you? If you can pick any gig, what would be the most memorable? Well, B, pag, sana, pag kami tumutugtog ng time na yun, sa akin, memorable talaga yung time na yun eh. I mean, most of the time, we make the best out of what we have. Parang sinasabi ni Benji, minsan yung drum, nagkakahoy lang. Minsan yung amp, wala palang speaker. Minsan sasaksak at trumpeta nung parang pangkalitan. Oo. Most of the time, sinapit <laughs> namin lagi yung tugtog, no? Eh, kami pa naman ni Chikoy, pag tumugtog ng yung isang kanta, derecho agad sa lima yun, eh. Mm. Alam mo yung bubububub. <laughs> eh, sabi, Parang eh, medley ito, na buo. Parang medley na buo-buo. Tara ko. Mawawala yun. So, mag-spill muna si Chikoy. Si Nito ay mag-i-intro ng As Tears Go By muna para gumahin ka sa yung ano. So, the tone muna ako. Straight na naman. Another three straight yun, di ba? Ano kami lagi? Kaya nang sinabi ko, nasa ulong na po ako nung araw, minsan bababa kami. Yun nung araw, yung shaky, naging ano yan, yung, naging rock and roll, ano namin yan. Pag tapos ng ulong na po namin, inis pa kami doon, gag- maghahanap pa kami ng gig. Nila. Mm. Ito, shake, 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 No, sa convict ko. Okay. Uwi yan na. Tapos na, no? Sigla kami, we end up, I don't, I forgot the, the beat ko dun sa Hayat. Hmm. Naalala mo yun, Chikoy, may kasama tayong dalawang IS girls na sigla tayo. Nag-disco tayo? Ha? Huh? Nag-disco ba tayo nun? So, sa on this call, somebody gave us oh. something na napapunta <laughs> napapunta <laughs> <laughs> masaya tayo doon, di ba? I mean, wow, what, what, what the hell are we doing here, di ba? Eh, tapos, tapos natulog ka sa balkon, ganun. <laughs> hindi naman, hindi. Takot lang po, bakit tayo, magmuhi na tayo, ganun. Oh. Isa pa ngayon, isa pang memorable sa akin yung sa jerks yung tumugtog tayo sa may, alam mo yung sa Roosevelt, alam mo yung skwela na tinugtogan natin punk talaga yung parang yung mga antipolo punk boys na pero ito lahat nakaitim. Well, well tayo nakaitim naman tayo lagi yun. Eh. Mm. Mamaya hindi na ikaw yung kumakante. May iba lang kumakante. Diba? Diba ako? Itinit ako nung time na yun. Oo, automatic. Disipahin ko yun sa stage. Di ba? Baksak na. Magtabi. Hanggang sa nawasak yung mga instrumento. Takbuhan ako sa labas ng ano. Yung video. Nung gym. Ano bang kwilaan yun? Sa kanto ng Roosevelt. Masabi lang pantrang ko yun eh. Sa ano? Sa ano? Yung, yung, yung... PMI. Yun ata, PMI, wow. PMI. 
PMI yung mga ano yung mga mga merchant marina school yung uniforme nila yung mga nasisikip <laughs> tapos machong macho yung mga ano, for, ano yun eh parang karamihan lalaki yung estudyante ron eh kaya nga kaya nga may malaki oh. na yung maano eh diba eh syempre si Chikoy babae sa space ayaw ako makikipatawa yung Okay, Chico, before we go to you and ask buying all those uh, PX goods down at Tupic. <laughs> PX. Oh my God, the kids today don't know what the meaning of PX is. PX. <laughs> ano nga ba ibig sabihin na post-exchange? Post, yeah, post-exchange. Yeah. Yun. Ah, yun. Where you get imported goods, <laughs> blue seal, yeah. di ba? Ah, Chico, I'm not, I'm not gonna ask you yet what your most memorable gig is because that's gonna be a long cuento. And the cuento that I've been dying to hear yeah. um, since, uh, you know, 1996 or 7, I think, is yeah. when you guys collaborated uh, on the Bodhisattva's album of June. And basically, you gave Regular Guy. Ah, I think okay. It's one of the best songs in the world for me. Because every time I'm going through a hard time, uh, I'm going through heartbreak. That song comes back to me uh, each time, and basically, when I take I, when I take on too much, um, you know, doing too many things, and sometimes you're not doing it well. That song yeah. comes back and says, "Hey, man, I'm just a regular guy." How yeah. did that? How did that happen? The regular guy. Well, it was a work in progress. The song na yon kasi. Um, as far as I can remember, it was it was not written actually. Mm. It was jammed. The first thing, uh, the first time we did that, it was June who came up with the riff, and then we were on stage at the Acme Club. Uh, that was in Olonga, but that was uh, the club across one hundred percent rock, and that was the first time we jammed that song and. The lyrics wasn't really that. It doesn't make any sense, actually. <laughs> it's, a, it's a collection of cliches and all that. So um, that's how it's that. That's how the song started. It went through revisions and all that, and uh, but pretty much the arrangement of the song was uh, already there. It was uh, what was that? What was the key of that? E? e. It was on E, right? It was on E, and uh, and it goes uh, F sharp minor and uh, C sharp minor and A, and then it goes down on G, diba? Yun 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 na yung arreglo nun. So uh, by the time na nasettle na yung arrangement ng guitar na yon, that was the time for me to sit down and. Write, write it down properly and then that's how it uh, happened na yung lyrics niya ngayon although yung opening lines pretty much ano kumbaga okay na dun sa ano sa the first verse and all that but then the, the second verse was revised and then uh, yung ngayon yun yung that was the final line. pero yung 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 ano yung yung message niya yung yung meaning nung kanta is pretty much on ano kumbaga inward masyado siya parang it keeps you uh, keeps your feet on the ground dun sa ano it's about keeping your feet on the ground yung ganong klase parang parang jerks yung ganon we, we were just uh, regular guys uh, kumbaga ordinary guys uh, doing extraordinary uh, things Parang ganong klase kung, well, pag-iayabang na yun eh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Well, you know, it, uh, it's, it, it's an amazing song. And when we were actually yeah, yeah, recording yeah. it, 
when we were recording it, when we were recording it for uh, June's album, Body Satvas, which came out, um, yeah. I was the second engineer. Uh, and I remember having to mix that and, you know, ako yung taga-label ng mga take. Uh-huh. Kung ano yung take na gagamitin natin. Um, tapos, na, nako-confuse kami sa mga labeling kasi one thing that, that amazed me was when you guys were singing together and then may nag-harmony kayong dalawa, ni mm. June, Chico and June, no? We actually had a hard time differentiating the vocals. Kanina yung ah. kay June dito. Kanina yung kay Chico. <laughs> It was the pop singer singing. <laughs> Oo, oh, tawa kami ng tawa sa studio kasi yung mga pop syempre, singer na yan eh. Pinapagalitan ako kasi ako yung taga-label eh. Ako yung taga-label sa computer. Ano uh, yung, this was the, in the first age, the, the, the first uh, few albums that were recorded digitally sa hit productions. <clears throat> And ako yung taga-label. So, pinapagalitan ako ng engineer, Uy, ano yung, yung, you know, which one is Junes? Because he doesn't sing in this part and all that. Tapos, nag-weave kayo. Parang, di ba yung konsepto ng oh, weaving so, ng, ng gitara? Nag-weave kayo yung style ng vocals. Na alam mo yung style na yun? You listen to the stones, and it was Keith Richards all along. Siya yung kumakanta ng ganun. Yung parang in and out siya ng, ano, in and out, in and out. Ganun lagi siya. And, ewan ko, uh, siguro yung, kasi, yung, ako natuto na rin akong mag, ano, mag, uh, kumbaga mag-treat ng mga kanta na ganun eh. Yung parang, when it, when it fits the, ano, kumbaga yung, uh, yung moment, you would, you would uh, put your vocals on, uh, not on the regular melody, yung ganong klase. Iibahin mo siya. That's how Keith d- does it all the time. He does that all the time. And probably, we both picked that up from this guy. <laughs> Kasi si Mick Jagger, pretty much, very predictable kumanta yun. Ano, Jun? Sorry, diba? may sila mo, Jun? Sa boses din kami ni Chico, eh. Oo nga. Diba? Oh, yun, 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 yun. So, yun, yun. Ako maging Mickey yan. Inaunahan lang ako eh. <laughs> yes, Sandra. See, see Sa- even Sandra confirms. June sounds like uh, Chikoy. Chikoy sounds like June. That's why, can you imagine, Sandra, my problem identifying the tracks on which vocal is which. Uh, I remember spending, nag-overnight ako doon eh. Tapos talagang nag-headphones ako, pinakinggan ko talaga. Hindi parang si June. Kay June yung hinga eh. Kasi kabis, mas kabisado ko yung boses ni June kasi we've been jamming more. So, sabi ko, parang yung hinga ni June yun eh. So, doon ako nag-label. And to this day, I still don't know if I've got it right. But the song sounds amazing. Well, Monet disagrees. <laughs> disagrees. Mas maganda Yo, boses ni June kisa sa akin. Mas maganda boses ni June kisa sa akin. Oh, actually, actually uh, lagi na sinasabi sa akin yun. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> so, yan pala yung kwento ng regular guy. So, yeah, so yeah, June, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, June, June um, what, what's, what's your take on that whole process of regular guy when you guys were doing it? Because, I mean, I remember you guys having so much fun. And, I mean, of course, leaving the technicals to us. Um, well, we were, it was like uh, parang unang gabi namin o pangalawang, uh, unang linggo namin sa Olongga po. So, Parang, and everybody was there. I mean, not the band. The girls were there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, pag, Might as well send a message. Until, di ba? mga flowers and you're like the bee, you know? Like, pag intro ko, <laughs> ito na yun. Everyone listening to Beats of Burden most of the time. We were playing it. So, Ibahin ko kaya yung key, pero same, same pattern, pero iba na yung refrain. You know, I, I, I thought of it there on stage. So, automatic, ganun naman kami. Nung time na yun, kung ano yung tugtugin namin on stage, at papasok o unti-unti hanggang sa mabuo na yun. Anyway, it was, I think, it was the first, di ba? Mm. 
Oh, wala pa masyado mga tao. You know? Wala pa. Oh, kasi that's mga... the time na, no? Pwede kang maglaro. Mm. At lalo na yung wala, diba? Eh, pumasok na agad yung mga uh, independent dun sa galing sa base. Hey, stop the band! Let's watch them! So, 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 and of course, diba? I mean, <laughs> you don't, you don't go sleep with all of them. You know I mean, you just admire and watch the flowers and music <laughs> starts flowing in and you know, Parang ang Smell them ka. from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I think regular guy is still the best Ligao song in the world. And, <laughs> I guess so. You know, I guess and so. Hearing, and hearing these stories um, and how it originated. Ano John? Ano John? Ano John? Gotta wait for the special one. Regular palang yan. Para show power. Para show power. <laughs> I, I I can't believe it. I've waited since 1996 or 97 to actually hear this story. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Were you disappointed? And, disappointed no, no, ka ba? It's, it's, no, it's no, it, it's it actually it actually confirms with me because when we were recording you guys, it feels like the song was writing itself at in these moments. It was one of the few songs that. When we came in to record Bodhisattvas, um, some songs were okay, it's done. Ito, yung kay Grace Pok, yan, plakado, yung kay Sami, ito, chorus, verse, yan, ganon, di ba? Nakalatag na eh. Pero it felt like when when you guys were going through the song, it felt like it was writing itself. Until finally, somehow, we captured it in the form that it was recorded in. So what's nice Actually, about yung... it is that this has been happening... All the way from Olongapo when you guys were trying to make legal girls who would come in. <laughs> so Actually, in not... second verse, Don. Oh. Actually, in second verse, Don. I wrote it down uh, in that studio, Sahit. There you go. See? Uh, yeah. 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 Because yeah. 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 the second verse, Don, actually, that, it, it never existed. Because before the recording, we were playing we were playing the song and then we we tend to jam it until it's done without any second verse we just we just we just do uh the chorus twice and then june would uh would uh mesmerize everyone with his guitar solo and all that and uh, affirm his uh, guitar hero status and then we're done but then during that time na <laughs> no and then during that time na i-record na yung kanta na yon dun sa pinroduce ni ano ni Solito it just it just occurred to me na i have to ano i i, I guess i have to write another verse for this just to make it look like a regular song just like any <laughs> other song so I came up with the verse. Yung ano na yon, yung uh, if I you see me walking down the street and uh, get... yun yun. <laughs> Yan lang, yun ganun. Kaya it's a work it was a work in progress that song. But it was such a beautiful thing to witness um this song writing itself the work as we were recording it. Yeah, from the work in progress tapos nag parang nag solidify sa moment na yon nung Uh-oh. nag-recording tayo. And everybody in the studio, immediately, I mean like with all the, I think that was our first week of recording, lahat kami nagsabi na parang, this is magic. And yun pala, magic mo pala yung second verse dun mismo sa studio. <laughs> but, but, I, I, but it reaffirms my faith in rock and roll because you know what? Some of the best songs are always written. Yeah, because at Most that time, of the best that... songs are written like that. Before, before, kasi na record yung yung recording na yon. I have that. I always had that feeling na ano parang the, the feeling of inadequacy yung ganon. It wasn't enough for me. Oh. Yung ganon, kasi June's part was already done. 
And then, parang, yung, ano, sa akin, sa part ko, parang hindi ko tinapos yung kanta. Yung ganun, yun yung, I always had that feeling. Kaya, at that time, when June asked me to, ano, to record that song on that album, I decided to, ano, baga, okay, I had to do this. Yung ganun klase. It's just one verse. Maybe I'll come up with something good. And, um, I, I, I hope, I did. <laughs> yung ganong klase. Uh, so yun. That's that's how it happened. That's 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 an amazing uh, thing. Like just like how on stage when you guys would, you know, jam tunes and we don't know where it was going. I'm just grateful as the second engineer, um, in that album, to witness it coming together, and the end result was, I, I you know, it's one of my favorite songs in the whole world. So thank you for that, guys. June, um, <laughs> June, we're we're gonna we're gonna be moving on. And um, do you have anything anything uh, uh, to say to Chikoy before we let you go tonight? And uh, the, rage. to <laughs> rage, rage, rage. <laughs> All right. Drama. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, yeah, John. Yeah, thanks, Thank thanks. you for joining us tonight. And guys, I can't yeah, wait yeah. for live gigs to come back. So yeah, that we can yeah, all yeah. Be on stage together, ladies and gentlemen. That was yeah. June Lupito, and we finally got some stories straight. Some stories <laughs> we have never heard. Um, we. I just want to do a shout out to Meron. Uh, my my viewer tayo si Turik Zilot. Turik Zilot. Sabi niya, I'll have to check my body sat ba kasi tape tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Turik, uh, i-PM mo ako I-send kita ng digital copy Para at least Baka, baka, baka makain yung kaset mo eh Delikado <laughs> na yun <laughs> Oo, kaset pa eh Kaset pa yung kopya mo eh So email kita Pero that's just between you and me ah. Kasi baka mapiracy tayo <laughs> So yeah, that's that's an amazing experience Inter- You know, the Gabo days The reliving the old days And all that And you know, yeah. the, the, a lot of the questions from our viewers is that why, basically, why did it take you so long, uh, Chikoy, to release an album? Uh, we You have uh, released two albums, The Jerks Live, which is a collector's yeah, yeah. item. If you, if you have a copy on that and you sell it on eBay, oh my God, they yaman kayo. Because collector's <laughs> item yan, guys. That's in 1994 with under Backdoor Records of Guy Granada. And of course, their self-titled uh, album, which was recorded in 1997 under Star Records. But why? Yeah. Why did it take you? Why did it take so long, Chikoy? Well, I guess we're working musicians, and um, ako personally, I wasn't really preoccupied with coming up with albums or whatever. Yung gonna, mm. I I would rather concentrate on the, my day to day. That's how I do it. Yung parang ano kaya. Yeah, it takes its toll on me now that we are under lockdown and all that. Kasi, ano, pero at that time, na everyone's going crazy coming up albums, right? Uh, kumbaga, having record deals and all that. And then we are playing at 70s Bistro and um, and uh, Merrick's and uh, other bars. It never really bothered me when people come up to me and said, why don't you go on studio and uh, record and have an album? Yung ganong klase. Kasi yung generation on time na yun, there was the E-Heads, and na yung, ano, and daming, lalo na yung 90s, diba? Yung, oh. and dami lumabas na banda. And then, actually, we're much, much older and than those guys. Pero, Yung orientation kasi namin, mas more on bar band talaga kami. Yung ganung klase. Well, we can come up with songs and uh, and whatnot. Pero siguro, hindi lang talaga namin naka, ano, nakasanayan yung ano. And then, uh, parang yung, yung nung nag-album kami, it was just Another day on the office in the office. Parbang, okay, let's just do this. <laughs> 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 ano, pero we were not uh, ano, kumbaga, 
we were not uh, into the race. Kumbaga, mm, yung yeah. ganon na uh, ano come up with uh, several albums. Ano. We're, we're pretty much uh, contented with with playing. Yung ganon, we just get the, uh, so much kick on playing live and being in front of uh, a few people. Yung ganon klase. And then uh, enjoy ourselves. Yung ganon klase. Kasi yun yung ano, yun yung that's where uh, we enjoy ourselves dun sa ano, so playing live and all that I think playing so, live I think playing live you guys um, is your strength um, because yeah. it's always a good time and I think the the most difficult thing about translating your energy into an album that's why ang ganda yeah. ng ginawa ni you know, sa Backdoor Records eh, ni Gary Granada oh, yung, yung the Jerks oh. lives in 1994 it captured kasi the energy of a live oh, yeah. gig. And oh. that's where I think, you know, you are the best at because I've been at these live gigs. I've actually jammed yeah. these live gigs and it's always a great time uh, without fail. Uh, whether yeah. pumasok ako sa uh, bago mag first set or sa gitna ng first set or sa may second set. Actually, napipikon ako pag pumasok ako sa second set kasi nabibitin ako. Eh. <laughs> may namiss ka. Oh, shit. na late ako. Oh, but in your in your uh, in your uh, 1997 album um you had two really big songs there which is rage of course the the record yeah. the, the actual definitive version of rage and sayaw sa bubog which won awards yeah. and you know is continuing to be an anthem today but one thing uh, I, I really enjoy in preparation for this show is i went back to the album again and i remember having this on cassette you know um, yeah. I went back to this album again and found, kasi dati nung nakuha ko, puro rage lang eh. Rewind ako, mm-hmm. tapos play, mm-hmm. rage. Tapos rewind ako, rage. Diba? Kasi ang ganda eh. And this is the, the, the only time, I guess also me being older now, um, still not as old as being Austria, but um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but but going back and appreciating the the songs that I didn't listen to a lot. And Wait. songs like Bitterly, Nuclear, that riff in Nuclear always just hooks me. Um, Panambitan, All the Lies oh. You Said, uh, okay. and, uh, and, um, uh, yung, and He Says. Yeah. Not only am I appreciating it now because it's still relevant, the protest, the energy, the, the um, dissatisfaction, the frustration at the powers that be, yeah. It's still so relevant to this day, considering this was in 1997 when it came out. And here at 2021, we're still at the same place. We're still feeling the, the same frustration. Yeah. But listening to this album again, uh, on repeat, it's been on repeat for the past three days, has given me a newfound appreciation for the songs that I hardly ever listen to. Like Haligi ng Manila, yeah, I yeah. think should be an I think should be an anthem for the city of yeah, Manila. Yeah, it's a, it's it's actually a tribute to the to the working class, to the yung, yung, ano, workers. And you know, like going through this pandemic right now, and you know, yung yung mga parang pang frontliner natin yun eh. Yeah. Yung mga oh. hindi ni Manila pang frontliner natin. Oh, yun. actually, exactly. May and ganong then, angle na siya. And then bitter, yeah. So I mean, these are such like. If you listen to the album, it's such a well-produced and beautifully executed album that was relevant in 1997. And for it to be still relevant today, um, songs, especially yung, yung, and he says, yeah. ang daming, ang daming relevance yan and all that. But the musicality also, I think, is, is so timeless that it brings me back to the past days and wondering how we're here pa rin. Then yung pinakamalaking frustration ko eh. When I'm listening yeah. to the album, it's great music on its own. But when you apply it to the times now, nakaka-frustrate kasi nandito pa rin tayo yeah. hanggang ngayon. <laughs> and uh, I think um, like even your your tender love songs like Kundiman is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even remember listening to that when I first had the cassette. You know? Because back then I was angry, I was angrier. Uh, but ap- appreciating this music, how how does um, how does 
when you when we're because you've been through martial law, Chico, you've been through the edge of revolution, yeah. you've been through all that. When when you realize that we're back in the same place or we're still stuck in the same place, how does that feel to you? Is there people maybe the people are not listening? Maybe the we maybe we haven't learned. What do you think? You're probably right. Dun sa ano, na people might might not be listening. Uh, pero kasi uh, sa atin, uh, I think that's that's uh, that's the purpose yung ano ng mga alibat tulad ng album ng the Jerks, yung mga kanta na yan. and then uh, some other other bands who come up with uh, progressive point of views and all that. Yun yung ano, eh, purpose eh, to remind us na this is not done. Something has to ano, something has to change. Ika nga, uh, yun yung ano, eh, yun yung concern ngayon. Kaya I I really want to ano, express my appreciation, my uh, kumbaga, yung yung phenomenon ng ano, ng community pantries ngayon in which you are a volunteer, di ba? Kasi in the middle of this pandemic and all the negative uh, ano, uh, things that comes out uh, from uh, especially uh, the powers that be now who doesn't seem to feel the the hunger and all the frustrations and disappointment of the people, you know, yung ganun. And then yung mga, yung mga, yung mga ordinaryong tao pa rin ang kailangan kumilos para magbigay kahit na wala silang maibigay. Kumbaga yun yung ganung klasing ano kaya kaya yung caption na yon na ano eh mag, mag kumuha ng batay sa pangangailangan at magbigay batay sa ka, ka, kakayanan. Yung ganung klase that's why the caption like that kasi yung mga tao na mismo ang nagtutulungan eh. Kaya yung yung community pantries yung yung original na concept was dito sa neighborhood na to, tayo-tayo magtutulungan. We take care of each other. Yung ganong klase, yun yung pinaka-concept niya eh. Kaya yun yung, ano eh, yun, actually, yun yung isa sa pinaka-relevant na nangyari dito sa, ano, dito sa, in the middle of this lockdown, in the middle of this pandemic. And then, yung mga kanta sort of remind us from time to time na hindi pa tapos yung ano natin, ang, ang laban natin. Eh, things has to change and siguro uh, sasabihin ko na rin na hindi ito gagawin ng ilang tao lang. Kailangan gawin to ng lahat. Kumbaga kailangan panindigan to ng mamamayan na tao. Yung ganun pa. So yun yung message nung, ano, nung community pantry, nung mga kanta, nung mga lahat-lahat na sama-sama na kasi you're, you're up against the machinery. Kumbaga, yes. a very big machine. So yun yung pinaka ano, yun yung pinaka importante. Kumbaga, the bottom line is people empowerment. Yun yung kailangan. Each of us has to feel na kumbaga yung 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 resolve mo, yung ganon as individuals, and then you put it together, and then that's it. Diba? Yun yung, yun yung solusyon dun eh. Kaya, lahat tayo ano, dapat, lahat tayo oh, dapat lahat. gumalaw, lahat tayo yeah, dapat lahat, magsalita, lahat, lahat, lahat tayo lahat. dapat magtulungan, and also yeah. we have to realize that the struggle is far from over. Yeah, yeah. And we have to keep on fighting. Yeah. Oh, let's, let's, let's ask the boys, uh, uh, the boys talaga, sorry guys. Uh, you know, um, <laughs> well, na bago, bago yun. Bago yun, uh, ano, I want to ano, I want to express my gratitude, my uh, ano, na it's such a blessing to have these two guys with me. Uh, kumbaga sa lalo na at this point na ano, yung eton stage ng jerks si Paolo at saka si Benji. Kumbaga kumbaga on on Paolo's part na kailangan niyang i-alter yung ano niya, yung yung role niya from time to time, yung gano'ng kasi. Pero, just the same. Yung, ano, kasi, kami tatlo, kahit na gano'n pa man, 
we still maintain that ano kung ano yung narinig niyo nung original na lineup ng The Church yung uh, pa rin yung nilalabas naming tatlo eh it it hasn't changed actually yung ganon kasi yun yung ano namin eh yun yung band namin tatlo eh yun yung pinaka pinaka importante ayun so Paolo, <laughs> so Paolo basically sinasabi nila okay na pasado na <laughs> you don't have you don't have to worry but okay so guys guys if you can sum up your experience with the jerks in one word what would that word be Paolo let's start with you one word lang subukan natin subukan na lang natin uh, the first word that came to my mind was overwhelming kasi ang dami lang, ang dami, because of the jerks, lahat naging madali eh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Naranasan ko na sa, naranasan ko na kasi sa jerks eh. Kung baga parang, na, shape, na shape na ako eh. Yung, yung attitude ng songs, imagine, I would have learned that later on, if, if not for the jerks. Eh, nat, natutunan ko yun, 23 ako. So, 20 years ago. So, uh, Swerte ko lang. Lucky. I'm very lucky. Very, very lucky. Thank you. Super. Benji, oh, kung may one word ka. Siguro, one word. Uh, napaka, siguro napaka swerte ko. Nakasama ko ang jerks. Uh, kasi malaking, malaking ano sila sa akin eh. Sa pagiging musician ko, malaki na itulong nila sa akin dahil natuto ako mag rock and roll dahil sa kanila. Natuto ako na matuto natuto ako mag rock and roll talaga. Sila nagturo sa akin ng rock and roll talaga eh. Kung ano talaga yung rock and roll talaga sila nagturo. Sa kaya kumbaga masaya ako nakasama ko sila. Yo, yo, yo. I feel I feel lucky too and blessed for being able to jam, you know, at least you know those few times I've been up on stage with you guys, but then yeah, we're blessed to be playing with you. Paolo, Benji, thank you so much. I'm going to be taking uh, Chikoy through the 10 questions. You guys, please stay safe. Stay strong. <laughs> stay sane. Thank you, uh, Benji. Thank you, Paolo. Thank you, thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you, Chikoy. Thank you, Paolo. Thank you, Benji. All right, Chikoy, we're going to go into yeah. the rundown. No? Uh, 10 quick questions lang. First thing that comes to your head. Mabilis lang to. All right. Okay. Uh, let's start. Okay. Question number one. What is your favorite word? Favorite word. Liberating. <laughs> liberating. I love that. <laughs> ano naman yung ano naman yung least favorite word mo? Uh, limiting. <laughs> limiting. Very good. Oh, what turns you, Chikoy? What turns you on? Um, uh, what turns me on? A loud power chord. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah. But what 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 turns you off, Naman? Um ten, tentativeness. <laughs> tentative pa, oh. tentative pa yung pagkakasabi. <laughs> oh nga, oh nga. Tama yun. Okay, what 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 sound or noise do you love aside from the power chord? What okay. sound or noise do you love? Um, <laughs> um what do you call that? Um, you know, it's uh, on the other side. A really uh, uh, serene music that puts me mm. to sleep. Nice. Nice. Okay, uh, what sound naman or noise do you hate? Uh... Something that disturbs my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yung mga nakakagulat or oh, di ba, yung contraction. Oh, yeah, Alip pumatang ka. <laughs> yes. Okay. What habit or behavior annoys you the most? Uh, habit. Evasiveness. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I get that. I get that. I get that. 
Sagutin mo akong diretso, di ba? Oh, yan, 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 yan. <laughs> okay, next question. If you could collaborate with any artist, living or have gone on already, who would that be? Ah! Collaborate with um, two uh, songwriters that I love. Uh, Bob Dylan and Tom Waits. <laughs> wow! I would love to hear that, Pare. I'd love to hear that. Okay, Chikoy, this is not gonna happen till a very long time from now, okay? But when you do get to heaven, what do you want God to say to you? Come in. <laughs> I love it. Open the gates, Pare. Yeah. You're on the list. Come in. That's nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, one for the road, Dio. One for the road. Um, what words of wisdom or advice would you give to anyone <laughs> just starting out in music? Uh, okay. Um, insayo ng insayo lang. Yun. And uh, isa lang yun? Isa lang ba? It's a, whatever, whatever advice you have to give. Uh, mag-insayo ng mag-insayo at the same time... Uh, Take your time with uh, with with internalizing the music. Don't don't uh, don't rush yourself. Make sure you know what happens at church. You know what happens at church. We don't rush things. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm, that that makes so much sense. Make sure you understand yeah. what you're playing. Yeah, yeah. You can internalize what you're playing. Yeah. Because I I have noticed the some some musicians that I know na yung yung I think the 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 ano, the younger generation of course siguro dahil sa ano yun eh, yung sa 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 yung ano nila yung restlessness pero usually you get that from younger musicians that they rush they tend to rush things pero pag when you're dealing with music and you're creating music, it pays na you don't rush things. Yeah. Do it several times, you know, make it, uh, ano, kumbaga, ang, ang, ang term ni Gary Granada ron, pahinugin mo. <laughs> yun, yun. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the yeah. best advice. No need yeah, to yeah. rush things. I mean, yeah, yeah. If, we take, if, we, if we look at an example of, for example, regular guy, yeah, that took how many years? But a long, a, a really long time, right? Oh, oh. Oh. to take your time. That's great. Yeah. Okay, so la- last call na, uh, Chikoy. Um, after this long, strange trip, this wonderful journey, what would you want to be most remembered for? Um, I just want to remember. Uh, as a regular guy who uh, who can play a uh, decent music, <laughs> well, I think you're going to be remembered for a lot yeah. more than that because you have influenced a lot of us who love original Filipino music. You have given us energy. You have given us an anthem. You have given us great times in the bars, whether it be in on disco or for. <laughs> And I think you are, are, you know, a wonderful living example of the working musician who would love to play for a crowd again. And I'm yeah. hoping and I'm praying that that day would come soon where we can have gigs again. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, Chikoy, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. Can I, I can I greet some people? Of course. Go do for we, it. Do yes. we still have time? Yes. Um, we do. I, okay. I, I like to say hello. Good evening. To, uh, of course, to Attorney Alan Magturo, uh, si Attorney Jack Concepcion, yes. si Alec, si Alec Polido, si Jet, ang aking ina-anak, si Jet na kunanan ng, uh, ng, 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 uh, ng Luna, mm. si, si Pex nga pala, pagaling, pagpagaling si Pex kasi may, nasa ospital yata si Pex, eh. saka si Wam, yan. Hello to all of you and to all the musicians who are, ano, kasi lagi ko nakik- 
Gusto ko i-greet si ano si, Nor- si Norman Perer kasi lagi siyang lagi ko nababasa yung mga post niya na talagang very adamant na siyang tumugtog just like everyone else. Yes. Yung ganon yung siguro uh, pag-usap-usap ng mga musicians kasi parang parang non-essential tayong lahat. Yung ganon So siguro when this is over it's time to talk and it's time to really uh, kumbaga pag-usapan natin yung ating mga careers at mga trabaho. Siguro kailangan natin mag-organize. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, organize and mobilize. Oo. Oh, oh. Si Bingbing. Um, mag, uh, ano, mag, uh, magkita-kita tayo pagkatapos nitong pandemic. Uh, keep safe, guys. At saka, God bless you all. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Audrey. Jacob. And always, we are wishing you, you know, we are sending you the bo- the biggest love, prayers of strength, Thank you so much. good health, Thank you. protection. Thank and, you. you know, ki- magkikita-kita tayo sa unang gig pagkatapos ito. Yeah. Nako, <laughs> ang laking gulo nun. <laughs> Pero super saya yan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maraming oh. maraming salamat. Thank salamat, you so much, salamat. Chikoy, and stay safe, salamat please. Din. Salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Chikoy Pura of the Jerks. Yeah. Thank you. Damn, that was amazing. Um, you know, like having known these guys for a few years, again, this is the reason why I love doing this because you will inevitably hear stories you have never heard, whether you're tuning in or discovering them for the first time, or you know, like like uh Paolo and and Benji, who have been playing with them for such a long time, also some stories that you hear for the first time on the show and that's why i love doing what i love doing and really there's nothing more uh that i'm excited for than to go back to the live gigs whether it be to play to jam or even just to watch and be in the same room with these musicians and these artists who are masters at their craft i am hoping and i'm praying that the day will come soon that We will all be getting together again under the same roof, having a few drinks, and just watching a really good band like the Jerks kick ass on that stage. And um, man, I thank you so much uh, to the Jerks, to Chicoy, to June Lupito for making the time tonight to share the cuentos and the kalokohans. Thank you to Paolo and to Benji also for making it tonight. And of course, Chicoy, You know, we we send you prayers of good health. I hope your treatment is going well. You have to stay strong. There's more music to make. Don't forget that. And like what Chikoy said, we have to we have to organize and we have to mobilize because essentially our musicians and our artists are essential to our way of life, to living a full life. Hindi po tayo non-essential. Kailangan natin ng musikero, kailangan natin ng artists, kailangan natin ng mga dancers, kailangan natin ng teatro. We have to keep that industry going because they, the musicians that we love to listen to are the soul of the Filipino. It's the soul of several generations, spanning generations like the jerks of over 40 years. They're a wealth of experience, of uh, of enjoyment, their contributions, you cannot put a figure to that. You cannot put a, uh, a peso sign to that because their contributions to our society and to me personally, to my life, it's priceless. And I can't wait to see them live back on stage. So thank you so much, the jerks. Thank you so much to everybody tuning in. And before we log out, of course, there are more announcements. Once again, uh, from Offshore Music, Everything, Everything by Suspiria Pink is available everywhere. Uh, be sure to tune in because th- these guys are amazing. I love these guys. They've got an energy that's unlike a- any energy I've ever seen before. Jairo Alva's classical album, Mula Sa Iyo, has just hit number one on the iTunes Top 200 Philippines Classical Chart. So, my God, the way this guy plays the guitar, you have to check out this album. It's a beautiful album. And, of course, Coming this Friday, the band Sulo will be releasing a new single called Sandugo off their soon-to-be-released album called Anak ng Bayan. 
So again, protest songs, songs for social change, songs for for a human revolution. Music is so instrumental in this. And, you know, with an album called Anak ng Bayan, that's the, the legacy is continuing as the struggle also continues. Maraming maraming salamat then to our partners, of course, Buenos Dias Panadiria and Misty Mountain Cafe. Thank you so much. That combination of happiness, I cannot, I cannot ex- exclaim how, uh, how much happiness you bring me uh, in, in my daily life. Thank you so much for uh, doing what you do. Make sure you follow them on their Instagram pages and their Facebook pages and support these local businesses. Um, of course, from liquor.ph, uh, an announcement. Uh, May is World Whiskey Month at Liquor.ph. This coming May, Liquor.ph is celebrating all things whiskey. Yay! It's Whiskey Month. With World Whiskey Month, with deals on almost 50 kinds of whiskey, bundles galore, immersive online experiences with Jack Daniels and old Pultenay, with gifts, giveaways, and so much more. With free shipping in Metro Manila, of course, only from Liquor.ph. Thank you so much for helping us out and always being so supportive for our show. Uh, make sure you follow everybody on, on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you download the Jerks album off Spotify because it's an amazing album. And take the time, like Chikoy said, take the time to listen to the entire album. Believe me, it will change your life. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to On The Rocks. I'm Jamie Wilson reminding you to please, please stay safe, stay strong. And stay sane. And do not go gently into that good night. Rage against the dying of the light. So keep on rocking. And keep on rolling. And if all else fails, let the music keep you going. And if you find that life has got you shaken or stirred, mixed up or on the rocks, what matters most is that you take your shot. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And good night. On the Rocks with Jamie Wilson is brought to you by Offshore Music. Go where the sound takes you.